Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Hello there, what's up, Leek? And welcome back to a Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Yes, we're back. And as you all probably know, if you've been playing Red Dead, you know on Tuesday we had a massive big update. Yes, a lovely brand new update introducing the naturalist role. Yes, which is right up my alley. Um, if you're wondering why my voice may be here a little bit, it's because I'm terrified that I'm going to get griefed any second because ever since the update, for me, uh, I've been griefed non-stop constantly, so Rockstar, you haven't fixed that problem, uh, fix it, um, or do something about it. So, you've seen the title of the video, and the main focus of the video is literally right in front of you. I'm My character is literally sitting on it. Yes, it's the new naturalist roll horse, the Gypsy Cob, I believe it is called, and look at it in its lovely glory. This, this is move it like that there you go you get a nice look at, at all the colorings this is obviously maxed level rank 20 yes um the update for me came out around half past three in the afternoon on tuesday and i've got this horse uh five o'clock in the morning on wednesday so the next day so you can calculate how how long that took me i'll leave that in the comments anyone in the comments if you want to figure out so um half past three on tuesday to five o'clock uh in the morning or uh, calculate how many hours, but subtract 30 minutes because for 30 minutes I had no clue what I was doing until I sort of figured it out myself. So, yeah, it took me a reasonably a long time to get this horse. I think, uh, like the bounties and the other ones took me less, probably like a couple of hours here and there. Um, but yeah, the horse is here, and you know what? It kind of surprised me, and definitely with the mane and the tail. This is the only horse out of all the roll horses and any other horses that I have that I've keep kept the default mane and tail because for me that's the only one that really works on it but without further ado let's have a lovely new look at this thing so here it is the gypsy cob we can even get some information here we go it is the gypsy cob uh, i have got the splashed pedibold piebald piebald there we go i said it correctly no one mess comment me that in the comments so we've got the pie pie uh, piebald here um, so you can see the coat, uh, the speed is around about, I think that's seven, and acceleration is around about six. Handling standard. So it's really, really good, but obviously at level four bonding, this is obviously max level as well. Um, you get 10 health and 10 stamina. So maxed out. The only other horse in the rolls, which I know of, is the Cool Daruba. Storm is the one I've got. Um, uh, he has 10 health and 10 stamina. I believe he has one more acceleration and one more uh, speed as well over this. Um, and my name of the, uh, my gypsy cob is called J Cobb. <laughs> it's a very good pun, I know. J Cobb, you know, because it's a cob. J, J Cobb. J Never mind. So, yes, there it is. Obviously, I, um, as you can see, the two um, bars there, which are in uh, yellow for the speed and acceleration, that's due to the saddle and the stirrups. Obviously, I've got the. Uh, I think it's the Nitro Goled one. I don't know how how you pronounce it. It's five hundred, near enough six hundred dollars. Uh, I have it on all my horses, and so that's why this one's here as well. Um, this horse as well, especially around predators, wolves, cougars, bears, it's not the best. I've done Wolfman with this horse. Um, just to compare with Lenny, um, the uh, Norfolk Roaster. If you don't know the. Uh, know my channel or you're new to the channel and you don't know who Lenny is. Lenny is the maxed level Norfolk Roaster who I use constantly. He's my main horse. I've recently got Lenny Jr. as well. Uh, yeah, I use him every time. He's really good around walls. I can headshot them. He stands there and he takes a couple of bites and then he get panics a little bit. Then I move him off. So for that, but with this one with Jacob or Jacob, um, a, a wolf approaches, he's instantly already starting to fret. He's already panicking, and then if it bites, I'm booked off, and then that's it, game over. So, really, this horse is mainly like the Cool Daruba. You want it for the health, and you want for the stam, because you really want it, you know, if you're getting griefed and you want to run away. It hasn't got the best acceleration or speed, but it does have the health to tank. So, you know, those people who just love shooting horses who really get on my nerves, because it, for people in this game, horses are just a way of getting around. For me, I don't know, they're my family in this game. And I, with Lenny, I really have a connection and I hate it when Lenny dies or gets killed by a griefer. I go full war with them. But um, yeah, so you want it for the speed to get away and you got the health as well, not the speed, the health to tank and the stamina so you can just keep going and going and going. Um, especially as well, um, this one as well, oh, the eyes. The other one, the other max level one you can get is a brown, white and I 
think it has a little bit of black on it as well. But the eyes are blue. Like, uh, I think um, the max level uh, collector horse, the... Um, I don't, I've forgotten what the name of it is. Um, but um, it has blue eyes and it works. But with this one, I thought it looked off. I didn't really like it. But really, I really do like this horse. And especially if we can get the mane. And I'll just move him, actually. We'll just turn him into the light so you can see the mane, what I'm on about. Uh, he's not moving the way I want him to. There we go. There we go. So you see the mane here? It's not long, like the long mane. But it's not short, like the short mane. And I'll put the long mane on, and it doesn't look right on him. It really, really doesn't. It looks off for me. Especially with the tail as well. This tail's a nice, long, bushy tail. And then the long tail, um, to upgrade, is so thin and not as long as that. Um, it just made him look weirdly, weirdly off as well. But yes, definitely recommend buying this horse if you... Um, one, if you haven't got any of the other roles, obviously, recommend getting this horse. Even at level 1, it's really, really, really good. You've got, I think you have 8 health and um, 7 or 9 stam. And that's really, really good because obviously they increase like every level or every like the stage 2 horse. It increases by 1. So then I think you have uh, 9 or 10 um, stam and then 9 health. Which is really, really, really good. And then obviously the Mac 1 is maxed out, both le uh, health and stam. But really, really, really good horse as well. If I was to compare him with Lenny, Lenny has 9 health and... Uh, no, he doesn't. He has 7 health and 9 uh, stam. Uh, so Lenny's good. Obviously, he's quicker than this. But he doesn't have the health and stuff to tank. So, um, yeah, I would really, really say this horse is worth worth it if you really, really want it. Obviously... I uh, I wanted it because it's a horse, it's a max level new collector horse, so I really, really wanted it. But yeah, it's a really, really good horse. I'll, ju I'll just um, show the stats off again, just in case you uh, didn't get a look. Um, the ho this horse here is nine hundred and fifty dollars plus um, horse insurance, so a thousand dollars. Then um, the second tier is um, five hundred and fifty dollars, I believe, plus um, horse insurance, and then the first tier is one hundred and fifty dollars plus horse insurance so it's really really good obviously if you have a good saddle as well it really buffs it out as you can see mine's really really good as well i think the stirrups could help this um but um definitely this horse is worth getting really really good horse introduced to the game the role itself really 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 good except from when um whatever her name is i don't know what her name is but um every so often when i was grinding this out i would go up to her sell the stuff but she would spray me and say oh i know what you've done they tell me uh, obviously, if I figured out um, when it kept popping up that if you kill animals, it aggroes her. Not aggroes her, but she it, she gets upset with you, and then she sprays something in your face. Oh my god, Jacob, you look cute. Uh, she sprays something in your face, and then you can't um, talk to her for a bit. But I didn't kill no animals at all, and she would still do it over time. Like not ev every so often, she would do it. I got really confused. But anyway, um, this horse, the um, Gypsy Cob, really, really worth it. Really, really good introducing into the game as well. Really, really nice horse. Recommend if you don't have the Norfolk Roaster. Or I would probably say the um, hmm, Corderuba as well. If you don't have the Corderuba or the Norfolk Roaster, this is definitely a, a good horse to get if you really want a nice mount. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed. hope this has um, shared a little bit of spotlight. Um... This horse is really, really nice. It runs really well, is nice as well. And obviously, uh, quickly before I end this video, uh, I just want to say the colours on these horses, amazing. The um, like first here is another black and white one, but it looks like it's more black and it's really, really nice. And the white stands out. And then the tier, middle tier is horses I, I normally see on shows. And this one, uh, if I can just creep down here at the bottom. With the, I think it's the Brenton, um, it has the same sort of effect where it's like hairs coming off the socks and the feet. Um, but for the Brenton, it's just fully white. But with this, you've got like a creamy, orangey, like cream. Also with the white, which really makes it stand out and look a little bit more better. And there, that's just a final shot of the horse. It, it looks amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this little just, um, you know, review on the um, Gypsy Cob. As I normally say, please subscribe. Like, or leave a dislike, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to Kajikoi as well. His journey is still going and hopefully goes strong forever. Uh, so I'll see you next time. Dress Up World Evolution will be uh, probably Saturday or Sunday. I'll see you then. Stay safe and have a great day.